first day of my period. And I gotta say, I've been experiencing this for about 10 years, more. It's nothing new. Tracking it is a little new, but the feeling of it isn't new. I know what it feels like this morning and a few days ago and just knowing like the frequency of my period like I roughly know when it'll start but it's never like oh this is my PMDD oh I'm starting my period it's usually like uh, agony mentally emotionally and just generally <laughs> and then I start feeling like the physical kind of effects. Two days ago, I'd like to say that that's when I felt like my breast tenderness and my bloating. Um, and today is when I feel like the linings of my uterine walls shedding. That's when I really feel it like today. You feel like something's going on in your lower abdomen area, I guess. Did I eat something weird? But usually I'm like, it's about that time. I love having my period. I, I, I do think it's like a process of just something about being a woman and, and it makes me kind of go crazy every month. But like, it also helps me kind of have really deep revelations about myself and about life and about so many things that helps me heal. So here we are, day one, here we go. I think financial independence is a huge trap, and over the course of the next short while, I'm going to explain what you need. I like to keep my workload really light on my period days. So today, we're just gonna do my laundry, which I've been putting off for a couple weeks. probably gonna make some breakfast like fully before we head out because I just need some extra strength it just started raining randomly um, in LA I did not think it was going to rain today. I'm trying to honestly just find any excuse to not do laundry. That's crazy. I don't know. I love this. I really do. <sighs> it smells so good. I'm still going to go do my laundry. I just feel like crap. <laughs> <laughs> I also try really hard to not take any pain meds on my period. I'm not really consuming that much food. Like, it's really hard for me to like move. Therefore, it's hard for me to like fully like cook a meal for myself and feed myself fully and healthily. So I don't want to add to that by just taking pain medication. Oh my gosh, now it makes so much sense that I've like broken out so much because I had like a lot of blind pimples come up in the last week or so like i have one right there right there and then on my forehead and i've tried to like just put pimple patches on them and they've they've mainly worked but um that was a tall tell sign for me too that my period was coming or i'm really stressed or something's going on with my hormones and of course yes all the above something very apocalyptic about this weather which apocalypto is such a good movie <laughs> i left my laundry on the street right there because i didn't want to take it all the way to my car 
It's just the further I'm walking, I'm like, why am I doing such a physical task right now? Period brain. Ugh, can't breathe. Fucking okay, psycho. <laughs> That was pretty dumb because I absolutely overexerted myself. I was just in so much pain. It was, I don't know, it was weird because I wasn't in that much pain when I was inside before I left. But the moment, of course, you like enact physical labor and start moving your body more during your period, it's like, stop. <laughs> stop this. You should not be moving at all. Yeah, I learned my lesson. I was pretty much just slouching and suffering the whole time, but we got through it. No shit. <laughs> no shit. Don't breathe. I I don't know how to hold my nose um, without holding it. No shit. <laughs> no that, shit. My don't breathe. <laughs> that was that was not that complicated. The one that's complicated. What I'm currently thinking about is how I always feel like. I have to heal a certain part of myself. Like I'm always focused on just healing, healing, healing. When I don't exactly think that that's helping me heal. Just the pressure of it or the thinking of it or the focusing in on it. cool device. Wait, okay. There we go. Oh, there it is. There. <laughs> Rob's like, yeah! Can you walk? Wait, no. Wait, can I put it right here? Mm -hmm. And like, yes, honey. We're such period girls right now. <laughs> I'm gonna do the light. Wait, so, if, what were you saying? Red light is super good for you? Totally! <laughs> 
It makes your makes going on I go on Instagram I'm like, what the fuck is yeah, it? It feels eerie. And it's like, oh, it was a lot of bubble time that we wanted. <laughs> it's like one of those army meals. <laughs> Porridge. So right now I'm actually getting a period tracker app, which I was against for, I don't know, the last couple years, especially after the overturn of Roe v. Wade because of just hearing about our privacy and how we don't have it pretty much and how period tracking apps can contribute to the selling of our data. But I was just reading an article about cycle syncing and it recommended three apps that prioritize your privacy first. So I was like, oh, thank God, because honestly, like keeping track of your period by yourself is so hard. Like you're going through the motions, you're going through the actual things. You don't really have the time or energy to like also keep track of like, oh, this is my ovulation phase. Oh, this is my follicular phase. Like, girl, you just know when you start bleeding and when you stop. That's all I that's that's all I have the energy to keep track of. So I ended up going with this period tracker Yuki. I am day three of my menstruation phase. It's going great, but I'm like, okay, we're on the third day. We're kinda halfway through the menstruation phase for me. I wanna get ahead on the other phases, especially if I'm like documenting the whole process. I feel like I unlearn I relearn these things so much but like with your period I'm uh, I feel like I'm constantly relearning what hormones rise and fall during your whole menstruation menstrual cycle thought I knew this turns out I don't I'm constantly forgetting again it's hard to keep track of this stuff I love this already because it's like asking it just has all the options that you need like what type of period product you're using how you're feeling whether you're horny or not it's like thank you for including that it's not just like happy or sad or indifferent like just <sighs> me and my baby just me and my baby just me and my baby day five of my period and I need you guys to, to see the status of my skin right now because you can still see some pimples but they're way less calm than they were a week or two ago literally I couldn't even touch this because it hurt so much I had a huge pimple here huge underground pimple here. It's just in such a better state. Looking in the mirror, I know it's, you guys can't really tell, but you know when you're like cleaning your face and doing your skincare routine and you're like, hey, I recognize you now. You're glowing, you're looking good, you're looking brighter, you're looking happier, more calm. We're coming out of the cave. This is the light at the end of the tunnel. We are reaching that, so that's nice. I just wanted to document that because acne and your face is a huge thing that fluctuates throughout this process, throughout this monthly thing, so I just wanted to document that as well. Like I said, today is the fifth day of my menstrual cycle, so like the sixth day is usually the start of your follicular phase, so that will be tomorrow. And I'm just really looking forward to <laughs> enjoying these next couple weeks of like calmness and 
recharging and I already felt the difference like in my mood, in my body, in my mind, in my face and internally my hormones and everything start to kind of stabilize again. It's so weird now that I'm documenting this how much it like is so obvious to me that these changes are happening constantly. Sorry for the red light, oh my god. If that couldn't be more on brand. I spent the weekend with my family which was really nice and I think helped my mood kind of be uplifted as well. It's kind of takes some days to just like relax. I always kind of end up doing that, like spending my period around my family because I think I'm just like in dire need but also it just happened to be this way because it was my sister's birthday I just got back a few hours ago and I'm feeling super recharged very full tomorrow's Monday so it's like a perfect reset day <laughs> tracking my period and also looking up what I should eat during the follicular phase. Um, it seems like I'm I'm right on track, as you guys saw. This morning I ate two eggs and rice. Yeah, that's not bad. That's just not bad. And then I listed food that I should be eating during this phase. But I also saw something that said, it's common to feel optimistic and energized. So now's a great time for socializing, exercising, or trying new things, which describes my mood perfectly. I feel recharged in a way because my body has at this point mostly shed the lining of my uterus and kind of released that egg. I still, it's weird because I feel like I know so much but I don't I feel like I know so little. Like this happens in my body every single month and I don't know about it, that's wild. That's very validating because I definitely feel that way and I'm so glad, this just makes me so glad that I am documenting this entire process. So I'm probably gonna go grocery shopping later cause I don't really, I needed to go grocery shopping anyways, but now I have kind of like a special items list for this week and a little bit longer than a week of meals and kind of foods that I can eat because the follicular phase is days 6 through 14 of your menstrual cycle. I'm just gonna soak it in because lord knows <laughs> how quick life could change. My body just wanted to get rid of it. Dare I say, it was the mango. I feel like this has happened to me before, but like why? Mangoes, really? That was so weird. I was on my way to House of Intuition to pick up some stuff for that new moon. You see? As I was nearing it, my stomach specifically was like, mm-mm. Mm -mm. I'm like, do I turn around or do I go collect myself, realize I can I can stick it out for 30 minutes max. I go, I shop, I buy. My body knows we're on our way back home. So I'm like, oh, panic is coming. 
It's so weird. I mean, obviously your body's like, oh, we're nearing home. Time to reactivate the need to go. It was just like such deep memories. <laughs> I wanted to update you guys on how I've been feeling throughout my menstrual cycle. Today marks day something of my follicular phase. I have completely stopped bleeding at this point. I think my last day of bleeding was Tuesday and that was like barely spotting. Yesterday and didn't spot or bleed at all. And I actually even had some like discharge. So that was interesting because I think that's why I always kind of mentally went from menstruation to ovulation and in between phase and then PMSing and then it all happening all over again. Now seeing it like on a calendar and everything, I'm like, wait, so I'm just still in the follicular phase? Like, you know, I'm experiencing discharge, which I, in my brain, because you know, they don't teach us this shit, signify that that was ovulating like discharge meant ovulating, which like sounds silly now that I'm saying it out loud, but um, you know what? I don't blame myself for not knowing. <laughs> Emotionally and mood wise, I've actually felt really like healthy and stable. I feel like this menstruation cycle or this menstruation phase that I recently had, like I was really shedding a lot. And um, it's always wild because my periods line up with the moon phases as well they're usually like right before or on the new moon this time i had just finished my menstruation right before this new moon happened and i feel like it was perfect timing because menstruation is shedding kind of like your old self or like things you want to let go of and the new moon also signifies like letting go and starting new i've just been kind of really uppity positive i've felt really like mentally strong kind of like just ready to take on the world or ready to like experience the challenges um that my goals come with or like accomplishing my goals come with it's just so stark in the difference like during my period or right before my period i am usually so irritable like right now anything like not anything <laughs> not anything can happen but like I am just way more like go with the flow, whatever doesn't phase me, it just flicks off me, like it doesn't affect me at all. I just feel so good right now. Shall I say that the follicular phase is my favorite phase? I feel bomb, I feel amazing. I just feel like brand new. That's that's a good like signifier. I had therapy yesterday, which I was like looking forward to because me and my therapist are doing EMDR together. I mean, I was having such a great day that I was like, whatever, like I want to do EMDR. I'm just like not really wanting to cry right now because I was having such a good day, but it was actually so good. Of course, like shifting your perspective to see crying as like something positive because you're allowing 
that emotion or that memory or whatever it may be that's causing you to cry to like be experienced and therefore be worked on or released you know it was just wild it, it was a good reminder of like you can't have good without the bad or you can't heal without working through the hard shit sorry that's just how it works and i i think you know me having kind of more of an avoidant anxious attachment i'm like don't deal with it like just suppress it don't you know just forget about it and that's the way to go like that's the way to heal <sighs> it's wild because i would never tell that to like my friend that that's the way to heal <laughs> you know stay positive forget all your trauma like that's just not real it was actually really helpful because it it helped me realize and like own the experiences that i've had and also have the bright other end of like i'm not there anymore i am in such a better place i am responsible for myself i trust myself i have evidence and reasons to to believe and trust myself like, i'm okay and i will be okay i've proven that i have gone through hard shit and come out okay or survived every day i'm like getting better healing that you know maybe not each day but like well yeah i feel like each day you're you are like proving to your trauma that you're much more than that you're proving to your history or whatever your abusers that you can you can and will survive beyond that <laughs> that's how i'm feeling during my follicular phase i don't know y'all it's amazing y'all should try it <laughs> Um, I'm getting ready actually to film a video um, because I'm gonna walk you guys through my process of quitting my job. That video should be out before this video, so if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. I feel really open-minded right now, like anything is possible. You can create anything, you can create your own life, your own future, which like is not a common belief of mine, but like documenting this is making me realize and reminding me that like i'm actually a really positive optimistic person you know it obviously depends on like what you're dealing with internally and externally but like i don't know guys documenting your period your menstrual cycle i really think will set you free John's war. was just an earthquake <laughs> it was pretty small but mm. i hate earthquakes just a check-in from day of my menstrual cycle. I believe we are nearing the end of my follicular phase. And I feel like we started off this phase really like good feeling and confident and feeling just better compared to my menstruation phase. Um, in the past few days, I feel like I've hit kind of like a diminishing feeling, a worried feeling, just a little bit more anxiety and depression coming back up. Not like at extreme amounts, but it 
kind of got me confused because I was like, wait, are we still in the follicular phase? Because this in my head makes me think and reminds me of my luteal phase or what PMDD would look like because I was feeling really down, really just um, mentally not in a great place. And then I had to check like my calendars and I triple check my days like all the time. I'm like, wait, what day are we in? And I think it was because I was not wanting to face that like, of course I'm gonna and it's normal to feel anxious or depressed on any day. Doesn't matter if it's in your luteal phase or not. And I think I wanted to slightly like validate myself that I didn't have PMDD or that I didn't have depression or anxiety. I wanted my anxiety and depression to be accounted for and kind of like have a reason. Now I'm realizing that like, oh no, this is just, this is just normal and this is me like i've always had anxiety and depression and that checks out because i was an anxious child and a pretty um depressed child so <laughs> that was before my period so of course if anything this just reminded me that like it's an ongoing an uphill battle this thing called life like my period definitely plays a role and my hormones play a role and I'm sure there is a lot of hormonal changes in your follicular phase and I think that actually checks out with the ovulation phase with um, your hormones rising so it makes sense that at the end of the follicular phase I'm feeling like this it was still kind of like a bummer because it was like dang I felt good for like a good three or four days <laughs> and now I'm like feeling a lot again but actually the moods that I was feeling were like a wake-up call for me and I started meditating again, journaling and getting back to the things that like help me in those times and today I'm feeling actually a lot better and a lot more like headstrong and physically strong, internally strong um, but also still honoring like my feelings and how I'm doing. to tell you guys about my ovulatory phase today is the last day of it tomorrow i'm supposed to start my luteal phase and ovulation has been cuckoo crazy fun it's been really interesting i think i spoke about being really action oriented in this time and i think that has to do with my testosterone rising as well because it's your testosterone and your progest your progesterone rising at this time and then your luteal is when they're at its peak which is why you kind of end up feeling really volatile um but ovula ovulation has made me feel really like confident really strong really like both feminine and masculine in the best ways possible like just like in my skin one thing i've noticed that is like bodily and physical i guess my nose senses are like extremely sensitive right now so i feel like i smell everything and yesterday last night specifically i noticed kind of like an odor down there which i never had like 
distinguishly noticed before one thing that i know i notice is um just having more discharge around this time like that's the number one key to knowing that i'm ovulating is when i have discharge <laughs> but i don't know if that's like truly accurate you know um it wasn't bad it was just like oh that's coming out of me <laughs> it's like truly fascinating how just tracking this stuff with my body and my mental well-being has been extremely eye-opening in like the difference like i see the difference i can now explain why i feel a certain way each day you know i just feel like in control again we'll see what comes in the next few weeks but <laughs> but i will say ovulation feels really good the moon is in sagittarius my favorite my moon sign so i don't know i'm just feeling all the good things um i still feel realistic and logical but um with a positive coat on everything a really optimistic coat so yeah that's ovulation <laughs> That's ovulation checking in for you. Good morning. You can always tell with the raspy voice if someone went out last night or not. doesn't scream PMS I don't know what does I don't know what does likelihood are just going to evolve to become problems you'll have to work on while married too but what am I talking about I'm not here to give advice I'm here for the chaos and this conversation about what this bitch ain't challenging you this intense ass female she's not challenging you we're done marriage the ultimatum <laughs> I'm in my luteal phase. I'm in my luteal era. I was terrified of her at first. Turns out it's, it's not bad, you know, so far. Um, I'm also like aware of the phase that I'm in. I'm hyper aware of it because of this documentation. So it's been very interesting because I feel like I'm kind of ahead of the game a little bit but also taking note of my emotions. 
but overall I've been feeling okay, like good, you know, not even okay, pretty good. Um, literally today I was kind of like walking around and I started feeling breast tenderness and that is the first sign for me that my period is nearing. Um, and technically according to the calendar, I'm on luteal day like four, three. My period should be coming in less than a week. So I'm like bracing for impact. We will see. Breast tenderness is real though. I have, I have itty bitties, but um, it still hurts. And that's like the only difference I feel. I mean, as little as they are, it's like a slight difference that I definitely take note of. So that's what I'm feeling um, heavily. But um, emotions have been okay. That's my only physical change, mental change. I'm actually feeling pretty positive or like realistic and optimistic. Yesterday was a full moon. I think that's why I love full moons. Love them, love them. I've just been letting myself explore everything. But that's my check-in for today. Also just a random update about life, I'm going on a second date today, which I have not gone on a second date in a year. In a year. So, that's interesting. That's crazy. I'm scared. Stomachs and knots. Why do people do this?